Sprouting G stair climbing. Welcome. I'm glad you found us once again. When you get good at the exerciser, laying on your back on the floor as you recall, transferring this horizontally learned skill to the vertical is the next step. The animal part of you naturally can work through time while laying horizontally to the earth. That's how the animals work. They're longer along the spine. There are humans who are purposed to work with the animals, who naturally access the mind-body simultaneity or simultaneously while standing up. The next skill is to practice keeping your counting, breathing, letting go and imagining as you walk upstairs. Doesn't sound too difficult to walk upstairs. In short, you can train yourself to count the stairs accurately, that's what's new, as you continue processing in your mind, being accurate at both. You will no longer be in danger of neglecting the outer as you do the inner work or vice versa. Oh, and by the way, bringing heaven on earth becomes automatic if you want to do it. Right here and now, push pause and grab a pencil and paper or your latest electronic reminding device, whatever that is. Doing things the first time might, just might require scheduling the event and a few notes as to process. So, when and where in your life do you encounter stairs? Now, those who have them in their home, just wait a minute while we get everybody else. Okay, if you're not in your daily routine, where can you find some to include? Good. Before you start up a flight of stairs, tune to your breathing. After the out-breath, pause. After the out-breath, pause. Let go and start tuning to something. That's like on the exerciser when you let go, your feet come down and you get the picture, but you're doing this while standing up. Start tuning to something you are working on at another location or a different time. Imagine it. When it feels right, start walking up the stairs, counting as you go. When you can count accurately the stairs and be aware simultaneously the imagined task, you'll be able to consciously work at two places at once, inner and outer, while grounded in the physical body. In short, you can be skilled and do work, good work, in both arenas simultaneously. Oh. Before congratulations are in order, remember to practice. That sounds like a chant, doesn't it? Practice stair climbing. Uh, and if you get in the habit of uh, doing it whenever you come to a pair of stairs, then uh, it renews and the um, process gets integrated so that when you are doing things simultaneously, you can do them both well, and that's, that's needed at times. The next sprouting is sprouting six, protection, free will, and taking responsibility. See you there.